time today. Welcome to the Workforce Flathead Opportunity Fair. I'm Kathy with FBCC. We will um, talk for about 10 minutes or so. And then if people have questions, any of the participants, they can put them in the Q&A and we'll take time to address those. Uh, all of these videos will go and live on the workforceflathead.com website of the Kalispell Chamber so people can view again and again, as well as Job Service Kalispell's YouTube page. So it should be there fairly shortly. So any questions before we hop in? Okay, let's just get started then. Can you share a little bit about what Glacier Stone Supply does and what you look for? Yes, so Glacier Stone Supply is actually product presentation. Can you see that there? I can. Okay. Um, Let me start that from here. Is that? That's that great. There? Okay, great. So Glacier Stone Supply is based out of Kalispell, Montana. Um, we're the largest stone producer um, and we were the first ones to come up with the thin veneer. So the, the thin stone that's put on the outside of um, many of the buildings and especially this one here, this is actually a building based at a Tahoe that we did. Um, we've been around since 1997. Um, we have a large array of stone varieties as well as a, a good chunk of quarries all based out of the Flathead Valley. So we are completely locally based and sourced. Um, we distribute all over the U.S. a large amount to the West Coast, um, some to Canada, and we had a, an oligarch's wife actually put this on one of her second homes in Russia, so that's a fun story. That's, I think, the farthest we've ever been able to distribute. Wow. Um, kind of going into what Glacier has to offer a little bit in general, um, just going into the employment side of it, um, we have a more than double minimum wage as well as a lot of career advancement opportunities. Um, we tend to promote from within. So um, we tend to make that a pretty common theme. Um, Work-life balance, as I'll get into it, we, it's work, you know, banker's hours. So if you have children and such, they're absolutely able to, you're able to get off and go get them. Um, if not, it's nice to be able to go take your afternoons at least. Um, I'll go a little bit more into our benefits and such as we move forward through this. Um, as I was saying, our hours of operation, though you have to be a little bit of an early riser, being off by three in the Flathead Valley has its advantages. I know I've been able to go out and fly fish after that and, and so on and so forth. So there's definitely some flexibility there, um, which is very beneficial. Um, as I said, oftentimes it's, sometimes it's running errands as an adult, that's it. But anyways, the, the schedule is very nice and it's convenient and located in the middle of town. Um, if everybody knows where the Evergreen U-Haul is, we're within walking distance of that, um, nestled right kind of out of the way of everything. So it is a quick way to be able to get over to Whitefish Stage and jump over to the new side of Kalispell or um, Evergreen or Big Fork. It's actually a really good spot. So it's nice to be able to uh, make the most of your day and not have to travel and commute from far off. Um, compensation and benefits, we start out at 1660, but our loaded wage ends up being 1998 and it will only continue to increase. We take pride in the fact that we keep up with inflation pretty well. Um, as I know that sometimes stagnant wages are a challenge, um, especially in places that are off the map as much as Kalispell. Um, our benefits package is pretty excessive or extensive based on, uh, based on areas, especially with our industry. Um, we provide a very cost-effective health insurance with very, very low monthly premiums and um, dental vision and life. And we do offer a free life insurance policy as well, AFLEC, the gym membership includes you and your family as well, which is very nice. Um, paid vacation, and we just instituted this last month the 401k matching at 3%. So um, retirement options are definitely viable there. Um, we also definitely work with upward mobility, as I said, and uh, merit-based pay increases. So um, we tend to have a uh, very, every single one of our people has been pretty much brought up through the ranks, and we never we never have enough quality workers to be able to put up in those positions. So you distinguish yourself and you will be moved up. And that kind of leads on to the promoting from within here. Um, besides managerial positions, that also of course can include a lot of heavy machinery. I know not everybody wants to manage other people, um, but our heavy machinery, um, you know, is it's a lot of fun. I don't know how many of you have ever worked with excavators before, but it, it's a lot of fun to be part of, <laughs> to be on an excavator and some of the other equipment and they, they make very good, um, very good money as well. And we, we definitely have a lot of options for that as well. Um, that's actually for the most part, I'd love to hear some questions and such, and I'll take you to the website um, if need be to be able to kind of show a little bit more about what Glacier does. It's not a, you know, a blank blue screen, but um, that's 
Pretty much for the most part, uh, the pitch we have for Glacier, we're a really great place and we, we have a really growing team. We're one of the largest and fastest growing in the area. And uh, we're looking for a lot of employees to kind of bring with us that we need to put into a lot of positions as we get larger. So it's, uh, it's most of the pitch and yeah, well, and it's terrific. I've looked at your website and uh, the, the fireplaces are really amazing. <laughs> um, and I am curious, what would be a what would be a good qualified candidate? If I were to walk in your door, what should I have? What should I know? You need to be able to show up to work on time. We pretty much will train you from the ground up. If you have current or prior experience in any sort of machinery, we can absolutely do that. But for the most part, we pretty much go through our process from the ground up. You don't really need much more than that. Um, we have you know 60 to 90 days before we're gonna put you on benefits. And that's including the 401k. So that's one of the shortest 401ks um, out there. Usually it's more than a year, um, but we'll pretty much train from the ground up. And then whatever skills you kind of are interested in and want to push into within the first year, we'll probably get you into that direction if, if you're, you know, move it along and everybody's fine with it. So we, you don't need a lot of experience. We will train pretty much every portion of it because it's a pretty unique process cutting, um, cutting stone. It's not something that most people would have experience with um, or prior work experience, at least. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it sounds really like a, a special skill to be able to have. Uh, I'm curious then if you're willing to train people. So it sounds like there's room for advancement as your skills develop. Mm -hmm. Okay. What might be something that you would, maybe you'd start as and move into? So we start most of our people depending on, um, we obviously have a splitter side. So you'll either start on a stone splitter um, or you'll start as a, as a palletizer where you're simply taking the cut pieces of stone and organizing them in a pallet. Um, from there, you can kind of pick if you wanna go into obviously a machinery, a loader, an excavator, or um, be in charge of something like a forklift as well as um, a saw operator actually. Um, they're, they're pretty big fun saws that that cut large, large chunks. You don't put your hand near it. It's not like a, it's a, it's a conveyor and you get to run it and make sure and test blades and such. So um, any of that you can kind of move into as well as we are having phenomenal growth, especially because of the current climate of buildings. So we couldn't produce, I mean, if 50 people came and walked in, we would just expand to another building that we're already hoping to eventually expand to and just stick more saws and that in there and more machinery and more management positions. We really don't have a, our limit actually, which is why we're part of a job fair is pretty much that we just need more people to help us grow. Um, you guys want to jump in and push yourself in a position where we're going to, we're going to encourage you as much as possible. We, we want, we want people and qualified is simply, you know, willing to work hard and show up. I mean, there's not so much else to it at that level. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like some terrific training goes on. Um, we well, and someone has a question, how physically demanding are the jobs? Kind of depends what position you're looking for. Um, a little bit of it will be, I mean, it's not, it's not a, it's not a typing job, obviously. I've worked in the, in the plant and it definitely has that. Um, if you're a little concerned about that, you know, you might have to put in your dues for six months, but once again, there's enough machinery and people were looking for qualified people. And if you're looking to try to move into a position that might need, you know, use a little more finesse and not that much. As long as you understand the process, um, which is the reason we start everybody out at those positions so they understand so that we're not, you don't want, you know, you want to cross train people, you want them to understand why the process works the way it does. And once they're um, moving into the different positions is not is not a challenge. Um, I when I worked there, I think I, I didn't particularly like palletizing stone and I didn't want to become a saw operator so I became the forklift operator within I think six months of starting, I think six or seven. Um, that was a really really fun position. I, I love zipping around on that. And it's, uh, it's nice because you're a, a part of the team that gets to, you know, bring the stone to them to get cut and take it away. So you're, you're kind of an integral part that everybody's happy to see because they're always like, oh, we need this picked up or that brought over there. And you get to zip around and have your own forklift. And it gives you a little bit of flexibility with your lunch breaks too sometimes. So I enjoyed that. Okay. So it sounds like you get to learn a little bit of everything. At a yeah. You don't have to do as much. I just enjoy the different aspects of it. It's a, I've worked in a few different manufacturing jobs and this one was easier to move up in than some of the other ones I've definitely been in. Okay, well, that's good to know. And I guess I'm wondering too, and I know we're already getting at the end of our time and it's all gone so quickly, but 
looking into the future, what are you most excited about with Glacier Stone Supply? Glacier Stone, especially as long as, once again, um, we would love to continue to build a larger team. We've expanded our benefits, made sure our pay is staying competitive, added new, um, new HR directors and made sure we really want a long-term team and we would really like to expand. We have an extra building that we have, we don't even have the use for um, yet because we can't, we can't keep up with orders, but we just need, we need a qualified team to be able to expand, continue. And uh, that's really the biggest thing that's exciting is that there is so much room. And that's kind of the reason that I wanted to do this presentation was because of the fact that it's, there is not a lack of building that's going to stop anytime soon. And uh, there's there's a lot of people that are ready to move on to the higher positions even than that. And there's there's a lot of potential. And it's just, uh, I'm just excited because I'm, I'm going to be part of that that growth in general as the company. And we make very beautiful product. It's nice to know that what you put on is creates, you know, the beautiful things that you can see. Um, you can see on the screen and such. It's It's very comforting to know that you're, you know, not doing something, it's destroying something, you're creating something that's pretty beautiful. And that's, that's a, that's a good thing to have in. Well, and from what I can tell from looking at your website, Stephen, it, it's like artwork. It's, it's pretty special. So, well, is we're about at our time. Is there any final information you'd like to share before we go on about our day? Oh, sorry. Did I, that, the audio broke up there. Was that? Oh, Directly. We're at about time. Is there any parting thought you'd like to share with uh, potential applicants? Um, if you'd like to get in contact, we'd love to have you down at the office. Once again, I'll, um, it's 955 Whitefish Stage. Um, the number and such, you should be able to get to the job fair if needed as well. Um, we'd love to have, see you in person. If you want to walk around or a tour, we'll definitely be available. And uh, once again, just stop by and you can see for yourself and go from there. Well, Thank you so much for taking the time to share a little bit about what you're doing, what you're hiring for, and the things that you're doing to really be an employer of, of value in the, in the Valley. So thank you for your time, and we look forward to seeing you around the Valley. All right. Thank you so much. Have a Take great day. Take care.